a great guy, and I want to thank Bronnie because, you know, Bob and I were very good friends for many years, and Bronnie sent me an email about a year ago saying, you know, you really should go see Bob, he's, he's getting older. You know, that's the thing about life, we take it for granted. And, uh, you know, the years go quickly, right? <laughs> we all knew each other when we were young, not so young now. Time, you know, took Bob as well, but our last few times together, you know, we talked about things, and I asked Bob, I said, you know, when you get up there, uh, what director do you want to work with? Is it going to be Chuck Jones? Is it going to be Tex Avery? Is it going to be one of, is it going to be Clampett? Is it going to be one of the McKimsons? Frizz? And without a feat, he said, oh, Frizz. I want to work with Frizz again. Frizz, he's the greatest. You know, and uh, Bob was just a wonderful man. He was kind to everybody. He was a great ambassador for animation. And if you think about it today, he almost made it to 100, as did June, who was another amazing human being. And many of the people we're talking about today, they lived long lives. And I really believe it's because they loved what they did. They loved making animation. There was no sense of, oh, it's such a grind. Yeah, it was tough, and don't get me wrong, we know all the stories, but they took great pride in what they did. And the last thing I'll say is that Bob was one of these great human beings as an artist. We were talking about model sheets one day, and I said, you know, I just hate how everything has to always be on model. He says, yeah, it's a bunch of shit. I said, you know, if you think about it, those Bugs Bunny cartoons, God damn it. First drawing, middle drawing, last drawing, those were on model. All the rest, they were all over the place. Otherwise, they'd be static. It wouldn't look right. It'd be wrong. That's how Bob was. He was that kind of a guy. He knew how it was. He knew how things worked. And, you know, and the last thing I will say is, at dinner one night at Bob's house, because Betty and Bob used to have our family over, and my kids were little, and they just loved Betty and Bob. We had a nice meal, and Bob, we were talking, and he says, you know, Termite Terrace would have never happened if the suits knew about those cartoons. They didn't know it was just ethereal. So thank you very much. <laughs>